Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel. Hey, welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. It's time for the Zaleski Sports Show, three to see. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Have a great week, everyone. Go sports. Secure against unexpected property damage or loss is what Marshfield Insurance Agency is all about. We are the area's largest insurance agency, family owned for more than 30 years. An independent agency, we represent more than 40 A-rated insurance providers for home, auto, business, health, life, and more. Contact Marshfield Insurance Agency for a free quote today. The athletes at Nasonville Dairy are also proud to support all our local student athletes. You work hard in the classroom and then work hard to compete at your best outside of school. Congratulations to the 2018 graduates and best of luck this sports season and beyond. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Visit us at our store or nasonvilledairy.com. Nason Ram Dairy. Trucks, our professional staff of factory trained sales associates and parts and service personnel are here to serve you. Our business managers use more than a dozen lenders to ensure you the lowest rates anywhere. From Marshfield to Wausau, Wisconsin Rapids to Stevens Point or Colby to Medford, we are a short drive from anywhere for friendly service and very competitive pricing. Come see V&H Automotive today. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, Check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year round. In a hurry, same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Wondering my what to feed. My name is Marissa and I just finished my junior year in college. It's time for me to buy my first car before I start my senior year and before I start my career search. I clicked on an ad for wheelers and found a car that was in my budget. I contacted the dealership and they emailed me an appointment for test drive. Test drive day is here. The sales staff was helpful and made sure I was comfortable learning about the car. It only took a few minutes and my credit application was approved. Just a couple of quick signatures and a payment I can afford. My first time buying a car and it was so simple. Thank you Wheelers. My name is... All right, gang, Jason here with the Zaleski Sports Show. We are at Fairgrounds Park in Marshfield as we get ready to watch regional finals in Division I, number two seed, Marshfield Tigers, number 10 seed, Wausau West Warriors. And uh, we've got a uh, very good game here coming for you today. We're going to catch up with Coach Danny Costa, Marshall Tiger head coach. We'll ask him about his team's regular season prep and what that means now for playoffs. And then we'll ask him what to look out for when uh, Wausau West is at batting on the field. So stay tuned for that, guys. All that coming up here in just a couple minutes. We'll stay live, though. Uh, watch uh, proceedings behind home plate, and then I'll go find uh, Coach Costa. All right, ground rules here are being set and discussed, both teams being apprised of the situation as we see Tiger captains and Warrior captains both here along with uh, both coaches for Wausau, Wausau West. And again, I mentioned Marshfield coach uh, Danny Costa. So they're getting all caught up on the ground rules. And uh, again, guys, here's what we expect today. Uh, well, we're what we know. <laughs> we'll find out what happens. What we know is uh, Marshfield beat Wausau West. Both times they faced each other during the regular season. Wausau West is here because of a victory over Eau Claire North at Carson Park in Eau Claire yesterday. Marshfield, the two seed, had a bye, and so they waited, uh, awaited the winner between North and West, and uh, West is here, and they're ready to go. Took a pretty crisp infield, so they, uh, they look fresh, although they'll be playing back-to-back -back games. Uh, pitcher uh, Tally uh, will go at it again for the Warriors, so Tally pitched the entire game yesterday, and she looks to take the circle to start the game today. We'll keep an eye on her. Keep an eye on pitch count and see how long she goes. Of course, now Marshfield, uh, pitcher Megan Donahue, and uh, do do anything uh, Donahue. Uh, she pitches strikes, 
Uh, she's had one hitters, no hitters. Uh, she hits for home runs. She's got power, speed on the bases, and uh, she will lead the Tigers today on the field and in the batter's box. Again, thank you to our sponsors today, V&H Automotive, Nasonville, Sport and Spine Clinic of Marshfield and Auburndale, Wheeler Chevrolet, and Marshfield Insurance. Guys, thanks for being aboard, and thank you to all of our other sponsors. As you see them across the screen, I ask you to do one thing. Give them a call and say thanks, or stop by in person. Tell them thanks for sponsoring live sports. Again, Jason here with the Zaleski Sports Show. Highlights of this game will be available later tonight, and you can see those first on Facebook at Zaleski Sports Show. Also, check us out on Twitter at Zaleski Sports. And all highlights in the past are still available at ZaleskiSportsShow.com. Again, guys, tell your friends uh, where you found the stream, and they can come watch, too, until they get down here. As we see uh, Coach Costa head over this way, so we'll stop and uh, talk to Danny here real quick. Uh, Danny, we'll talk to just about Wausau West in just a second. Uh, but first, tell us what the regular season taught you and how to be ready for the playoffs right now. Uh, adversity. I mean, that's one thing for sure, playing a lot of games in a short amount of time. Uh, having to uh, manage lineups and you know I haven't always been the best at that with entering and re-entering players um, so you know I, I definitely learned on that end but just managing the players making sure they're staying healthy and that sort of thing. Concerns for West today as you start the game? They're a scrappy team I always worry when we play West they always play us tough um, good pitching great defense behind them they've seemed to get to Megan Donahue in the past so you know I expect a good game. All right coach we'll see you after the game good luck. Right, thank you. Okay all right guys we'll be right back after this. Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel. Hey, welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. It's time for the Zaleski Sports Show 3 to C. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. He's in the house. Have a great week, everyone. Go sports. Enabling families to have peace of mind in times like these. Secure against unexpected property damage or loss is what Marshfield Insurance Agency is all about. We are the area's largest insurance agency. Family owned for more than 30 years, an independent agency, we represent more than 40 A-rated insurance providers for home, auto, business, health, life, and more. Contact Marshfield Insurance Agency for a free quote today. All right, guys, and we are back. Again, we are at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park, and we've got a beautiful afternoon, evening here for regional final action softball. We are in the 2018 WIAA playoffs. The host, Marshfield Tigers, taking on the Wausau West Warriors. And our starting lineup today brought to you by River's Edge Public Golf Course. Uh, again, River's Edge uh, Public Golf Course open to everybody, so get on down there and play. They've got some good stuff going on. Tuesday, for example, 18 holes with a cart, $80 for a foursome. 20 bucks a piece, guys. Get on down and play River's Edge Public Golf Course today. Starting for Wausau West, playing second base, Olke. Taley is the pitcher. Pfeiffer plays shortstop. Brown, center field. Bryce at first base. Rennie is a designated player. Kettner will start in left. Tess Hauer is at third. Schilling behind the plate. And Stone in right field. Olke, Tally, Taley. Pfeiffer, Brown, Bryce, Rennie, Kettner, Hauer, Schilling, and Stone. For the Marshfield Tigers, leading off, pitcher Megan Donahue, and catcher Emily Dreger. In center field, Jenna Jacoby. Left field, Rhiannon Corzola. At second base, Megan Nordbeck. At first base, Kate Conrardi. And shortstop, Jordan Pretch. At third base is Brianna Jacoby. And in left field, Taylor Barwick. Marshfield goes Donahue, Drager, Jacoby, Corzola, Nordbeck, Conrardi, Pretch, Jacoby, and Barwick. And again, those are your starting lineups today, brought to you by River's Edge Public Golf Course. And their Tuesday golf special, $80 gets you a round of golf. All 18 holes, 80 bucks for the foursome. So uh, you find three other friends, and everybody pays 20 bucks for a round of golf with a cart at River's Edge Public Golf Course. Give them a call, get your tee time today. All right, as we see the uh, Tiger Reserves being uh, called out now and announced in front of the home crowd today. A nice crowd already on hand. 
Again, you've got plenty of time to get down here. First pitch is going to happen in just a couple minutes. Or uh, stick and stay right here at, on the live stream. Again, tell your friends to, where to find us and how you found us at ZaleskiSports.com or just go to the Facebook page, Zaleski Sports Show, and click the link from there. Make it real easy for you. But we have National Anthem coming up and first pitch, so we will turn the microphone to today's National Anthem. All right, National Anthem has completed, and we are just about ready for softball. We're going to take one quick commercial break, and we'll be back for the start of Tigers Warriors after this. Is proud to be part of more than 150 years of dairy farming tradition in the state of Wisconsin. The athletes at Nasonville Dairy are also proud to support all our local student athletes. You work hard in the classroom, and then work hard to compete at your best outside of school. Congratulations to the 2018 graduates and best of luck this sports season and beyond. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Visit us at our store or nasonvilledairy.com. All right, we are underway. Donahue gets us started with a ball down low. Donahue on the 1-0 is down low again, so starts out with two balls, no strikes. And the 2-0 is on its way. And the 3-0, my apologies, missed the first pitch here as we're getting our uh, orders taken. We've got front row seats here, and we've got a very lovely, beautiful waitress coming here to help us get our, our waters. Anyway, a walk to start the game for Oki, and Taylor shows up now for the Warriors. Today's starting pitcher for West, and a pass ball. And West quickly out with a runner in scoring position with nobody down. Donahue looks in. Taylor looks like she goes about uh, five foot three in the box there. Gets a nice low stance and another low pitch. It's five, I'm sorry, six straight balls for Donahue. 
to start today's game. Very unusual for uh, for Megan to start out like this, see if she's able to correct, or if uh, Wes is just going to be patient at the plate, and that's what I would expect here. 2-0. Swung on and missed for strike one, first strike of the game for Donahue, and the count is 2-1. Again, Olke is on second base. And a ball called inside there for ball three. 3-1 three the count. Again, first base open, Oki on second. Ball lifted to center field, Jacoby back, way back, and makes the catch, nice running catch by Jenna Jacoby, and able to hold Oki at second base. Jacoby had that one tracked from the start, ran it down to about five feet of the wall, hauled it in for out number one. Pfeiffner now steps in for the Warriors. Shortstop for Wausau West. One out. Strike call just above the knees. No balls, one strike. Swung on and missed for strike two. The Pfeiffner behind quickly. 0-2, one out, runner on second for the Warriors. Fouled right to the west dugout. But there you should be a delay. I'm being caught on a frequency somewhere. Or it's just really weird audio. No balls, two strikes, one out. Donahue ready. Swung on and missed for strike three. Might have had a piece of it. Uh, Drager able to keep it in her mitt if that was the case. And a strikeout. And the first strikeout of the day for Donahue. Two outs, runner still at second. Olke started the game with a walk, and then on the ensuing pitch to Taylor, got on uh, second due to a pass ball, and she stayed at second since. Donahue gets a swing and a miss from Brown, and 0-2 now the count to Brown. Here's the 0-2, that's low. Tempted her with a ball low, and. She withheld ball one. Inside, ball two. Two, two, swung on and missed, strike three. And down goes Brown for out number three on the strikeout. So, after leaving, after uh, giving up uh, opening walk to Olke, Donahue gets a fly out and then two strikeouts to end the inning. Tigers coming up next. Automotive serves Marshfield and Central Wisconsin with new Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram trucks. Our professional staff of factory trained sales associates and parts and service personnel are here to serve you. Our business managers use more than a dozen lenders to ensure you the lowest rates anywhere. From Marshfield to Wausau, Wisconsin Rapids to Stevens Point, or Colby to Medford, we are a short drive from anywhere for friendly service and very competitive pricing. Come see VH Automotive today. Team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry, same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Okay, and we're back here at Fairgrounds Park in Marshfield. Again, we're watching regional final action between the Tigers 
and the Wausau West Warriors. Marshaled up now for the first time here in the bottom of the first, and they'll go Donahue, Drager, Jacoby, and Corazola in the cleanup spot. And thank you to our sponsor, Sport and Spine Clinic of Marshfield and Auburndale. You have a choice, so you get a referral. You have that unfortunate circumstance happen to you and your physician gives you a referral. You have a choice and you should choose Sport and Spine Clinic of Auburndale and Marshfield. Donahue steps in and Taylor pitching for the Warriors today. She also pitched yesterday at Eau Claire North, so we'll keep an eye on her as she goes today. The first ball is high. Used her arm in all seven innings yesterday up at Carson Park in Eau Claire, and she's back in the circle again today. Strike called to Donahue at the letters. One ball, one strike. Taylor ready, the 1-1. One, one. Ball looked like looked like it had level that it needed. Might have been just a bit inside. The ball two. It's definitely above the knees. Taylor ready. And ball there called at the letters. So she's got her elevation right, just needs to get it over the plate. Three balls, one strike to Tigers leadoff hitter, Megan Donahue, and the 3-1. Ball is lifted to right field. Wynn knocks it down and knocks it down in front of the right fielder. Donahue rounding first, rounding second. She's headed into third, and she slides past the base, hangs on to third on her way past, and starts the Tigers out with a triple. So Donahue gets the Tigers started with a three-bagger and sits nicely at third base now with nobody out. Emily Drager steps in. Low for a ball. Again, great day for any outdoor sports today as it has been for the spring sports season at least as of May 3rd. Anything prior to May 3rd was a was a snow hill somewhere, and it has been fast and furious since then, but it has been beautiful weather since the snow cleared. Uh, they did move this game up a day. It was originally scheduled to take place tomorrow. Threat of rain has us playing today, and uh, smart decision overall. Uh, Wausau West probably wishes there wasn't rain in the forecast tomorrow. They now have back-to-back -back games in. Conversely, though, they're able to get the game in, whereas tomorrow May, uh, may have had a rain out. We'll see what happens. Not in the weather prediction business. Three balls, one strike. <laughs> Taylor ready. Drager, a drive to left center. And that one hops off the wall. Easily scores Donahue. Drager around second. Stand up double. And back to back hits to the fence for the Tigers to get things started here in this regional final. Drager, Drager ripped it. One hopped right off the wall. Donahue trotted home. Tigers up 1-0. The roof. That ball laced back up the middle. Drager turns for home. She's going to head home and easily crosses the plate. And Jenna Jacoby with an RBI, back-to-back -back RBIs for the Tigers. Three straight hits, and Marshfield up 2-0. Rihanna and Corazola now steps in. Jacoby jumps off of first base and stops. That ball is dribbled 
foul as the left-handed swinging Corazola was out in front of that one and hit it to the far opening here right behind first base, the far opening of the Warrior dugout. One ball, one strike to Corazola. And Corazola there ripped to second base, dropped, had a line shot. Right to second base is Oki. And uh, she's unable to bring in that heater. And Tigers still in business with nobody out. Runners at first and second. Again, Jacoby stands at second. Corazola now at first. Batting for the Tigers, Mor Morgan Nordbeck. Nordbeck today's second baseman for the Tigers. Ball outside. Again, the Tigers use a numbered play calling system. So we've got 3-3-3 three, three, three in the way. You're not. You stay wherever you need to, Coach. Double steal on the way and no throw down. So both runners advance. Jacoby now at third. Corazola at second. So Nordbeck still stands in. She sits at 2-0. Both runners now for the Tigers in scoring position. Nordbeck with RBI opportunities, and she sees a strike come through. 2-1 the count. Taylor delivers. That ball is lifted to center field. Caught. Tagging is Jacoby. And no throw home. So RBI sacrifice fly for Nordbeck. That pushes the Tigers to three. One down now for the Tigers. Kate Conrardi steps in. Corzola remains at second. Jacoby tagged from third on the fly ball out by Nordbeck, giving the Tigers their third run. The Tigers with three, only one out here in the bottom of the first. And Tigers use a numbered scoring system rather than the old fashioned uh, signals being sent in. You touch your ear, you wipe your waist, you look a certain way. None of that business going on here for the Tigers. They use a numbered system and that gets everybody on the same page, all the players then wear a wrist guard, a wristband that has all the all the numbers and tells them what to do. Taylor delivers on the 2-0. That ball is dropped. Corzola takes off for third. No throw down on the pass ball. Three balls, no strikes to Conrardi. Fly ball now scores Corzola. Conrardi though with a 3-0 count. Maybe looking for walk, and she will earn the walk on four straight balls from Taylor. Shortstop Jordan Pretch now steps in. Pretch looking to get the ball out of the infield. She's got speed, probably won't be able to turn a double play on her. As the, uh, as the West catcher steps out here to Get her defense set. Schilling satisfied with where the defense is and sits behind home plate. Umpire says, let's go. Ball in play. Taylor winds. Bunt laid down by Pretch and bunted uh, straight to the Tiger on deck circle. Strike one to Pretch. No balls, one strike. See if Pretch shows bunt again. And she does not. Sw and swings and misses, so strike two to Pretch. Coach Costa deciding to forego the bunt. Wasn't necessarily a squeeze play on on that bunt, but just trying to cause some commotion on the field. 0 2 now to Pretch. Ball up high and outside.
And a beautiful 80 degree day. A little bit windy, wind blowing straight from first base out to left field. So any balls lifted in the air will get an extra boost from the wind as we see ball two again outside to Pretch. The wind also bouncing our cameras around today, so bear with us as we readjust in between innings. Taylor delivers. Strike three called to Pretch. Two down now for the Tigers. Brianna Jacoby now steps in. Right-handed batting Jacoby. Ball thrown away back to the pitcher. Base runner stands still. Corazola was getting instruction from Coach Costa there. Didn't see the errant throw. She may have been able to score. Would have had to been on her toes over there. No balls, one strike, two outs to Jacoby. Pop fly in the infield and caught for out number three. So the Tigers get three across here in the bottom of the first. Leave two on, Wausau West coming to bat. And I just finished my junior year in college. It's time for me to buy my first car before I start my senior year and before I start my career search. I clicked on an ad for wheelers and found a car that was in my budget. I contacted the dealership and they emailed me an appointment for test drive. Test drive day is here. The sales staff was helpful and made sure I was comfortable learning about the car. It only took a few minutes and my credit application was approved. Just a couple of quick signatures and a payment I can afford. My first time buying a car and it was so simple. Thank you wheelers. My name is Marissa. All right, we're back here at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Wausau West will start at the top of the second inning with Bryce, Rennie, and Kettner. West had a base runner in the first inning, a leadoff walk by Olke, and then a fly out and two straight strikeouts by Megan Donahue set the West Warriors down in the first. Number 16, Bryce steps in, today's first baseman for Wausau West. That ball is low. Donahue's had a number of balls in the dirt and in the first inning, and that continues here in the second. Again, we thank you for watching. Make sure to tell all your friends where you found us. Go to ZaleskiSports.com or head on over to YouTube and type in Focus on Marshfield, and you catch catch our live stream there. So make sure to tell your friends where you found us. They can join in on the fun here, too. One ball, one strike. Foul back, and Donahue ahead now, one and two. Donahue delivers. Strike three called at the knees. So Bryce goes down via strikeout, and Rennie now up for the Warriors. Ball, again, had, had it at the knees, a bit outside for ball one. Up high for ball two. At the knees for strike one. Two balls, one strike now to Rennie. As Donahue finds the strike zone again. And the 2-1. High for a ball. The Donahue's been pitching from behind here early in the, in the game. Pitched from behind in the first inning. Did get two strikeouts. Did issue a walk. 
And that ball is high for a walk. So second walk given up by Donahue. And first base runner in the second inning for the Warriors. Left fielder Kettner now steps in. Jenna Kettner. And Jenna Kettner in for the Warriors. Rennie on first base. Strike right down the middle. Fires down to first, not in time. Drager quickly unleashed a fastball down to Conrardi at first. Put the tag on, but no concerns there with the tag. One ball, one strike, and strike two swinging there. Donahue now is ahead of Kettner. One ball, two strikes. And strike three to Kettner. And two outs now for the Warriors. In steps Tess Hauer. Tess, a friend of the Zaleski Sports Show. She'd been in the house before. Volleyball season. Came to Marshfield and had an outstanding performance. Playing third base today is Hauer. And Donahue started with a strikeout, then a walk, and then a strikeout. So Rennie in that walk sandwich is at first base. Hauer stepped out of the way. It looked like she's during the day tomorrow. And if that were to get rained out, then we're over a Memorial Day weekend, and now we're not playing until Tuesday, and things get all backed up. So push the game up to today, and we are playing here under mostly cloudy skies, about 80 degrees, and a swift breeze blowing from first base out to left field. Taylor Barwick steps in for the Tigers. We will go Barwick, Donahue, Drager here in the bottom of the second. Barwick sees a ball on the first pitch. Second pitch by Taylor on the way. Bunt shown and offered strike one. You'll want to check out the Zaleski Sports Show on Wednesday. We've got an interesting Sports 101, and it is all about bunting. We're going to talk about bunting and what a strike is on a bunt and what it's not. As Barwick lifts a single to first base, the ball gets by the center fielder. And, oh, and Barwick able to scoot all the way around to third. That ball got by center fielder Brown, and Barwick able to move all the way, all the way over to third. Megan Donahue now steps in for the second time today. She started out the game with a triple, and now this ball is hit to straightaway center field. Brown under it for the catch. Barwick will tag, and it's an RBI for Megan Donahue. So nicely done by Donahue, getting the Tigers Another run here in the second inning. They're now up 4-0 over the Warriors as Drager steps in for the second time. She doubled back in the first inning, just one inning ago. So in the first inning, Donahue led off with a triple, and then Drager backed her up with a double. Back-to-back -back hits for the Tigers to start the game. Strike scene there. Taylor Reddy winds. Check swing held up by Drager and ball two. Taylor delivers inside for ball three. Three balls, one strike. Emily Drager up.
Nobody on. Barwick came around to score after a, an error out in center field. Got her all the way to third base after a single. And then Donahue with a fly right back to the center fielder was caught. And Barwick able to scamper home on the tag. Drager now with a walk, and she's on first base. Tigers with base runners again. Jenna Jacoby now steps in for the second time today. Jacoby reached in the first and eventually came around to score. Costa calls out 355 and players check their wristbands. They've got their play and are ready to go. Jacoby now. One ball, no strikes. Drager on the run, the ball is drop, dropped by Schilling and Drager able to move down to second base and getting scoring position for the Tigers. Taylor Wines, Jacoby rips to right field, Drager rounding third, she'll score standing up and Jacoby with an RBI single Tigers push their second across here in the second to go up 5 nothing. <laughs> Corazola now steps in for the second time today. She also reached in the first. Jacoby jumps off a of first. No steal, though. Corazola was left on base in the first inning uh, at third. So, see if she can get on here and push Jacoby around. That ball is through the gap between first and second. Jacoby rounds second and heads over to third. And Corzola with a seeing eye single here in the bottom of the second. Runners at the corners now for the Tigers. Only one out. Morgan Nordbeck in. We're going to have a courtesy runner here, and we'll see who that's for. They're going to pull Corazola off of first base, and we will see Alyssa Ports in to run for her. Ports now running at first. Jenna Jacoby at third, one out. Nordbeck steps in. Nordbeck, Nordbeck flew out to center field in the first inning, sees strike at the knees on the first pitch. Play calls in, Taylor gets a sign from Schilling. Ball's hit into left field. That'll find the gap, and that'll score Jacoby from third. Ports is caught here, running from second to third. She's out for out number two. Base running error there by Ports. And Jacoby, though, does come around to score. RBI for Nordbeck, and she's at first with a single. Pass ball there by Nordbeck. Nordbeck now at second base. Conrardi at one ball, one strike. Six nothing here, Tigers in the bottom of the second. Strike on the inside corner and one ball, two strikes. And Tigers came out swinging here in this one. Uh, today as they look to jump on the on the Warriors who just got done playing less than 24 hours ago up at Eau Claire at Eau Claire North beat North over at Carson Park went to school this morning and then left about two o'clock from Wausau to make the drive over here to Marshfield so quick turnaround for the Warriors Taylor delivers strike two two balls two strikes Conrardi refines her swing, and she's ready to go.
two outs with Nordbeck at second. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. That's up high. Eye level, and the count is full. Payoff pitch, ball four. And they've got her in a rundown. And a long rundown it is. She's finally going to be tagged out there. Very nicely done by the Warriors. Again, we talked about that in the Zaleski Sports Show on that rundown, getting in two single file lines until you pinch that runner to an out position, and they did. So Nordbeck caught in between second and third, and that is the final out of the inning. Tigers six, West nothing, and we'll be back for the... Enabling families to have peace of mind in times like these. Secure against unexpected property damage or loss is what Marshfield Insurance Agency is all about. We are the area's largest insurance agency. Family owned for more than 30 years, an independent agency, we represent more than 40 A-rated insurance providers for home, auto, business, health, life, and more. Contact Marshfield Insurance Agency for a free quote today. Back here in the top of the third inning, Wausau West coming to bat. It will go Schilling, Stone, and then back to the top of the order at Olke. So Gabby Schilling now steps in for for West. And a ball. Donahue again starts another batter with a ball. Not her usual routine for Donahue. She'll be able to fight back though for five strikeouts in just two innings of work. Outside for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Swung on and missed for strike one. Schilling looks down to third base and nods her head affirmative that, yep, coach, I got it. I know what I did there. 2-1. Strike on the inside corner and count even at 2-2. Two and two. Donahue ready. In the ball, in the dirt for ball three. Three balls, two strikes, full count now to Schilling. The three two is swung on right behind third base and that's gonna fall. Schilling rounds first, heads to second and a leadoff double for the Warriors and an overthrow here, mishandled ball. Ball being bounced around the infield by the Tigers and Schilling able to escape to third base. And the Warriors in business with a runner at third and nobody out. Back to the top of the order here in the top of the third, Olke will bat. She walked to lead off for the Warriors as the game started just 40 minutes ago. Time called. Both Donahue and Oki back off, then back in, and we're ready. That ball is high to the backstop and safely run down by Drager. As Schilling only took about three steps off a third. That ball thrown so hard off the backstop, it almost bounced back to home plate by the time Donahue rushed in to cover. Donahue ready. That ball is a little wild and low for ball two. So Donahue with control problems here in the game. There's no doubt about that. And yet, still five strikeouts on her side. With only six outs recorded in the game. 
strike there by Donahue, and the count is two balls, one strike. The only non-strikeout out came to Taylor as she flew out to center in the second spot in the first inning. All other outs have been recorded via strikeout, and we're at a two-ball, two-strike count again for Donahue. Inside for a ball. The runner's coming home, and she will score. Schilling scores. Gets West on the board. Another wild pitch by Donahue. Count now is full to Olke. With the bases clear, and the Warriors on the board. Full count now, Donahue looks in and delivers. Outside a corner for strike three and another looking strikeout as the Warriors have been caught looking four out of the six times. Jalen Taylor now up. And again, I mentioned just a moment ago, she flew out to center her first time up in the first. Here in the third, starts out with the ball. My apologies, Shaylin Taylor. Shaylin. And Shaylin sits on two balls, no strikes. And a third ball. Again, Donahue having some issues here getting the ball across for strikes. Uh, when she does find her groove, she finds it fast, but right now she's off here in the second inning. In the third inning, my apologies. And four straight balls to Taylor, and the second walk issued by Donahue and Warriors back with the runners on the base. One right on first base, nobody out. And Alicia Piffner now steps in for her second at bat today. She suffered the first strikeout of the game for the Warriors back in the first inning. Sees ball one sail outside. Donahue pounds the ball in her mitt. She's frustrated out there on the circle right now, and that one's high. Runner going, throws down, and in time, she's tagged out, caught stealing, is Shaylin Taylor gunned down by Drager on the throw down to Pretch, and out number two for the Warriors. Just like that, the bases are cleared, and there's two outs here in the top of the third. Still two balls, no strikes. That last pitch was a ball on the throw down to second. Swing and a miss for strike one. And the 2-1, low for ball three. The 3-1 is on its way. Inside for ball four. So back-to-back -back walks now given up by, Dreg by Donahue. Three walks on the day. And the third base runner of the inning for the Warriors. Donahue ready. Ball is foul. And right behind us at the pavilion and Scooped up nicely there by a lady sitting at the picnic table on the second hop. Next ball put back in play. Donahue with it and ready. Strike two now to Brown. She sits at 0-2 with Fifner on first. And the 0-2, that's low for a ball. Fifner dances off of first, and Drager doesn't care about that. Gets it back to the circle to Donahue. A one, two. Strike three looking, and the seventh strikeout now recorded by Donahue. Donahue has had a few rocky innings here, but able to keep the Warriors at one run. She's got seven strikeouts, three walks. Tigers coming up in the bottom of the third with Pretch, Jacoby, and Barwick. We'll see you in a bit. Danville Dairy is proud to be part of more than 150 years of dairy farming tradition in the state of Wisconsin. 
The athletes at Nasonville Dairy are also proud to support all our local student athletes. You work hard in the classroom and then work hard to compete at your best outside of school. Congratulations to the 2018 graduates and best of luck this sports season and beyond. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Visit us at our store or nasonvilledairy.com. Nasonville All right, we start here in the bottom of the third inning. Marshfield up and leading 6 1. Jordan Pretch steps in for the Tigers, struck out looking in the bottom of the first, up now for her second at bat. Ropes that ball to left field and drops in for a single. Nice hit by Pretch. Able to get that to fall right in front of the Warriors left fielder Jenna Kettner. And she stands now at first and Brianna Jacoby now up for the Tigers. Today's third inning brought to you by VH Automotive in Marshfield. VH Automotive located just north of Marshfield on Highway 97. VH Auto, a short drive from anywhere. Check them out at vnhauto.com. Strike scene by Jacoby on pitch number one. Again, Pretch at first. Taylor ready and delivers. Inside for a strike. Jacoby lifted her right foot out of the way. And Danny, Coach Costa tells all three at home plate, let's go. So off we go. That ball hammered to right center field, and that gets down. One hops off the wall. Pretch around third. She's going to come home. Cut off to short. No throw home, and a double by Brianna Jacoby. Another, in, another run scored by the Tigers in the third inning. Pretch comes all the way around from first to score on the Jacoby double, and it's 7-1 Marshfield. Taylor Barwick now steps in. A ball in the dirt to Barwick. Taylor singled in the second and came around to score. Ball is dribble hit right off the pitcher and Taylor couldn't find it. Barwick reaches first on a hard hit ball right back at the pitcher. Taylor knocked it down but wasn't able to find where it went after that and Barwick is safe at first. Jacoby stayed at second as the ball was really between the pitching circle and third base. She didn't have a chance to advance. As Donahue now steps in for at bat number three. She's one for two with a triple in the first inning. Ball outside. One ball, one strike to Donahue. And the 1-1. One, one. And that ball is fair down the left field line. And that scores Jacoby from second base. That ball just kind of lingered right down the left field line and dropped in. An RBI for Donahue. Tough ball to get to out there. It was right on the left field line, just in the outfield grass. Really no man's land there, and it dropped in for an RBI hit for Megan Donahue. Emily Drager now sees strike one come in. Drager one for one with a double and a walk, scored both times, and comes to bat for the third time here in the bottom of the third inning. Strike at the knees for strike one. For strike two, my apologies. 
0-2 now to Drager. Taylor ready and delivers. That ball roped into left field. Costa is going to hold up Barwick at third, and the Tigers will have bases loaded after Drager able to Drager able to get the fifth consecutive hit here for the Tigers in the bottom of the third inning. Nobody out yet. And Marshall now with bases loaded and a big time opportunity to break this game wide open. Tigers already up 8-1 and looking for a big inning here in the bottom of the third. Already scored two in the inning. Bases loaded and nobody out for Jenna Jacoby, power hitting left-hander for the Tigers. Sees a ball low there, and it's one ball, one strike. <laughs> Again, Jacoby's got big time power and big speed on the bases. Outside for a ball, and it's two balls, one strike. Tiger running, runners out on the bases just chomping at the bit right now. Every time that ball leaves Taylor's hand, they are ready to run. And the 2-1, outside for ball three. <coughs> Jacoby now with choices. She can get picky and perhaps draw a walk and score a run that way, earn an RBI and a walk, or she can get aggressive and take a swing. We'll see what she does here on the 3-1. And she drips at it right back through the middle. That's going to score two. And a two-RBI single for Jenna Jacoby. Barwick scores easily from third. Donahue around second and home. And Tigers now with runners at the corners as Drager advanced to third. Still nobody out for Marshfield. It's a 10-1 game here in the bottom of the third. Time called by Wausau West. So we'll take a timeout with them and be right back. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds, and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry, same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Wondering what to feed your team? I just got done building my new PC so I can edit the 4K. Nice. nice. That's what I do. It's crystal clear. 30. 30. All right, and we're back here in Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Marshfield out to a big and early 10-1 lead in the bottom of the third. Nobody out. Runners at the corners. Dragers at third. Jacoby's at first. And West has made a pitching change. Again, Taylor won all seven yesterday over at Eau Claire North. And she's tagged with 10 quick ones here in only two complete innings of work. So Bryce goes in to pitch. And it looks like Taylor will move over to first. So new pitcher. Bryce for the Warriors and see if that change can bring about a different different outcome here for the Warriors as they are seeing this one slip by very fast right now. Oops. So it looks like the change is complete and Bryce is warmed up and ready to go. The meeting at the circle is done. And uh, indeed, Taylor does move over here to first base. So Taylor swaps with Bryce. Seven all 
the same time. Usually people just check it for like a minute before we find out if that's going to move on. All right, Bryce ready. In is Corzola for the Tigers. And Bryce with her first pitch, and it's a ball inside. Strike called, and Jacoby moves down to second. Stolen base for Jacoby. Again, if you get picky with this, Schilling didn't didn't care, and, and maybe you say, Al, oh, let's catch her in difference. Either way, runners at second and third for the Tigers. Still nobody out, and the 1-1 to Corzola. Gets a hold of that one and lifts it into left field. Misplayed out there in left field. Two runs would have scored anyway as Jacoby's got wheels from second base. And both of those runs are assigned to Taylor. She now finishes with 12 earned runs given up in just two innings of work. Corzola with a single moves over to second on the error in left field. Scoring is Drager and Jacoby, and it's now 12-1 Marshfield. And a ball there to Morgan Nordbeck. Still nobody out for the Tigers, and they have now their eighth batter at the plate in the inning. Six runs, eight batters, nobody out. Foul tip by Nordbeck, and it's one ball, one strike. Bryce looks in, gets a sign from Schilling, and she likes it, delivers. Foul, as Nordbeck was ahead of that off-speed pitch. One ball, two strikes to Nordbeck. Bryce is ready. Well, was fouled right at Coach Costa. He shrugs his shoulders at Nordbeck and says, what the heck? Winner of this game awaits the winner of Chippewa Falls and Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln. Chippewa, the number three seed, Rapids, number six seed. And that game is going on now over at Casper Park over in Chippewa. The one-two. And ball. Ball two there. Should Marshfield hang on to this lead and win, the game will be here at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park, again, between the winner of Chippewa Falls and Rapids, and that game is set for Tuesday. Foul back and out of play. So that would be a Tuesday 5 p.m. start down here at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. We've got some issues, though, between now and then, and that is we need a winner of this game first to confirm that, but as it stands now, Marshfield up 12-1 and pointed towards a Tuesday sectional semifinal game. Full count to Nordbeck. And the 3-2. Ball is lifted, drifting foul, and off the left field foul fence and out of play. And we'll see a second full count pitch. Also going on up in Division I action, Stevens Point, Spash Panthers taking on Eau Claire Memorial over in Plover right now. And they will play the winner, the winner of that game will play the winner of number four Hudson and number five Superior as Nordbeck records the first out of the inning on a line drive caught out at short. And Kate Conrardi now steps in. She's up for the third time, and the ninth batter, the Tigers will have batted around by the time Conrardi's done here. And Conrardi has drawn two walks in her two plate appearances so far. And a ball there. And the 1-1. 
1-0. Fouled there. Schilling not able to get to that. Didn't have a whole lot of lift to it. Not much chance to run that one down. One out. Corazola remains at second base. Tigers up 12-1 in the bottom of the third. The 1-1. Strike two to Conrardi. Bryce ready. And the 1-2. High for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Swung on and missed, and Bryce records her first strikeout. Conrardi goes down swinging. And we now go back to where we started, the bottom of the third, with Jordan Pretch. She singled to start the inning about 15 minutes ago. Oh, it is. Take a look at what our substitution is here. Michaela Steinbach now will bat in Pratch's place. That ball is foul and caught. Nice catch there as Schilling ran that one down. Wausau West catcher runs down the third out. So after Bryce comes in, gave up a hit to Corzola, able to get a fly out, a strikeout, and a pop up to catcher. Tigers, though, able to score six, and they leave one on and lead 12-1. We head to the top of the fourth after this. v &H Automotive serves Marshfield and Central Wisconsin with new Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram trucks. Our professional staff of factory-trained sales associates and parts and service personnel are here to serve you. Our business managers use more than a dozen lenders to ensure you the lowest rates anywhere. From Marshfield to Wausau, Wisconsin Rapids to Stevens Point, or Colby to Medford, we are a short drive from anywhere for friendly service and very competitive pricing. Come see v &H Automotive today. V All right, we move to the top of the fourth, and Wausau West coming up. They trail Marshfield 12 to one, again here in the top of the fourth. We will see Bryce, Rennie, and Jenna Kettner for the Wausau West Warriors. And again, I misspoke here just a moment ago. The Wausau, the Wisconsin Rapids Lincoln Chippewa Falls game is going to remain on the schedule for tomorrow, so Marshfield will need to wait until tomorrow evening to find out should they keep this lead who they would play on Tuesday. So again, that game is tomorrow over at uh, over in Chippewa. That ball is low, one ball, one strike to Bryce. Again, Donahue, seven strikeouts. Nine outs recorded so far for the Tigers and seven of them via strikeout by Donahue. Donahue though has been been streaky. Accuracy not been there at this point for Donahue, but it's been there when needed. Strike two there, so fell behind 2-1 and evens the count at 2-2. That's been the way it's went here for Donahue so far through three innings of work. She's fell behind often, a couple wild pitches and a couple walks issued, but able to get the strikes when they're needed and swing and a miss there by Bryce. She stays alive at two balls, two strikes. Bryce struck out to start the top of the second just two innings ago. Back at the plate now for her second go at Donahue. And the 2-2. Foul tip, not able to be hauled in by Drager, and again stays alive. Does Bryce.
Ball back in play and Donahue with it and ready. Strike three looking and Bryce goes down. So again, Donahue gets behind, climbs right back and records her eighth strikeout of the day. Today's designated player for the Warriors, Kylie Rennie. Rennie walked in the second inning and sees a ball here to start her at bat in the fourth. That one's high. Again, placement for Donahue has been all over the place, to put it mildly. That one all the way over Drager's head. That came in at about six and a half feet as it crossed the plate and no chance, no chance for Rennie or Drager to get a hold of that one. Two balls, no strikes. Took a little off that and I missed a ball somewhere. We've got a walk there. So a walk issued to Rennie on four straight. And again, Donnie, he was all over the place during that at bat not able to come close to the strike zone. And we'll have a courtesy runner for Rennie. Bat, fielder, Jenna, Jenna Kettner now steps in for her second time this game. She, like seven others, struck out in the game. She struck out in the bottom, top of the second inning. So she'll take stab number two at Donahue today. Donahue ready, winds, high, and ball one. Donahue looks in, Drager with the signal. That ball into left center field, gets nearly to the fence and around goes Kettner for a double. And the Warriors in business here. Runners at second and third with only one out after the double by Kettner. Tess Hauer now steps in for the Warriors. Tess struck out looking in the second inning to end the second. She's now up with only one out and two Warriors in scoring position for Wausau West here in the top of the fourth. That ball high. Howard's got some height to her. She goes just over six foot tall. That ball was over her head. That one is at her ankles. And again, Donahue not able to get, get her pitches corralled. And she's pitching all over the place right now. Swing and a miss by Howard. 2-1 now, the count. Again, Tess Howard. Familiar with the Zaleski Sports Show? She was a uh, player of the game back during volleyball season. And that one hit it back up the middle. One run in for West, and Jacoby runs it down and able to get it back in before Kettner able to advance home. Kettner at third and a run across. RBI single for Hauer. Abby, Abby Schilling now in for the Warriors. She walked back in the third, and she comes up with runners at the corners and one out. Strike right down the middle for Donahue, so off to a good start. A rare good start here for Donahue in this game. No balls, one strike. Again, high over Schilling's head goes ball one. You can definitely tell Donahue's frustrated. Look on her face after those errant pitches. She knows, she knows what's going on and she's very frustrated about it. Two balls, one strike now to Schilling. Low for ball three. Tough for an umpire to get a handle on a pitcher when they're all over the place as Donahue's been today. And that ball 
Could have been called a strike on a different day. It was called a ball here, and it's 3-1. Ball tomahawk right down the third baseline over third base. Schilling with an RBI single. Nicely hit there by Schilling. Gets two runs now in the fourth for the Warriors, and it's 12-3 Marshfield. And Coach Costa is going to visit the mound and have a talk with, uh, with the team and Donahue, find out what's going on out there. So while he's talking, uh, let's just take a quick break, and we'll be right back. Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel. Hey, welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. It's time for the Zaleski Sports Show 3 to see. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Have a great week, everyone. Go sports. Okay, we're back here in Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Uh, circle meeting is done. Uh, Coach Costa came out just to remind the team, hey, listen, girls, we're up 12-3. Everything's okay. We just need to buckle down here and throw strikes. And a strike thrown by Donahue to Olke. Good circle visit there by Coach Costa, I think. Again, just getting the girls settled down. Only two runs are scored. There's one out, runners on first and second. And two quick strikes now by Donahue. So she may have just needed a breather out there. As again, she's been erratic, to say the least, through three and a third innings here today. Donahue foul tip there to the backstop, and that ball had some smoke on it headed into the plate. And Olke, lucky to stay alive with the foul tip. Well, grounded to short, Pretch able to knock it down, keep it in the infield, keep a run from scoring. But Wausau West able to get another runner on base as Olke reaches for the first, for the second time today. And Shaylin Taley up. Wausau West with five straight base runners. Five straight successful plate appearances and Taley now with bases loaded and one out. Strike called. So four straight nice pitches there by Donahue. Looks like she's got things figured out after the breather given to her by Costa. Just a bit low for a ball there. One ball, one strike. Hauer at third, Schilling at second, Olke at first for the Warriors. That's high for ball two. And the 2-1 at the knees, low for a ball. And it's three balls, one strike, nowhere to put her as bases are loaded. Donahue looking for strike. Taylor picky here on the 3-1. Swing and a miss, and the count is run full now. Donahue able to climb out of that hole and get it back to full count. Payoff pitch upcoming with bases loaded to Taylor. Donahue delivers. Tip foul and Taylor stays alive. Donahue took a little bit off that one. We got a very nice crowd here at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Good day to watch. Playoff softball here in Marshfield. And the 3-2. Swung on and missed strike three. Donahue able to collect her ninth strikeout today and get to the second out of the inning. So now, force at any base, gets the Tigers out of the mess. Again, bases loaded, two outs. Alicia Fifner in now for the third time today. That ball is high. Fifner with a strikeout and a walk.
Inside corner for a strike, and the count's even at one ball, one strike. Infield at regular depth with the exception of third base. And they've got a uh, run down here in the infield. Hauer is going to go home and everybody's safe. Everybody's safe, a misplay by the Tiger defense and Costa in the dugout storming mad right now. As the Tigers allow a run to come in without a throw being made in the infield. Unbelievable. The runners now at second and third, two outs. That ball tipped back and the count even at 2-2. So Drager had Olke off of first. She had her leaning, threw it down to Conrardi. Um, uh, threw it down to Nordbeck, my apologies. And uh, Nordbeck hung onto it, not sure where to go with it. And all runners advanced and a run scored. 2-1, swung on and missed. It was a 2-2 pitch, my apologies. Uh, so 2-2 pitch turns into strikeout number 10 and could have been much worse for the Tigers there in that inning. Wausau does score three, 12-4 as we head to the bottom of the fourth and we will see Pretch. We will see Jacoby, Barwick, and Donahue in the fourth, we'll be back. Just finished my junior year in college. It's time for me to buy my first car before I start my senior year and before I start my career search. I clicked on an ad for Wheelers and found a car that was in my budget. I contacted the dealership and they emailed me an appointment for test drive. Test drive day is here. The sales staff was helpful and made sure I was comfortable learning about the car. It only took a few minutes and my credit application was approved. Just a couple of quick signatures and a payment I can afford. My first time buying a car and it was so simple. Thank you Wheelers. My name is Murphy. Trevor, are we live? Yes. Are you sure? Huh? It's green? I never changed the output unless you did. No, I mean, we were live before. I'm asking if it's green. Yeah, it's green. Oh. It's been green for 15 minutes. But it did go red at one point where I had to reflect it. But we're down for like 30 seconds. Okay, there it is. Is the Wheeler's commercial that just ran? Yep. All right, we're back here at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Regional finals, Marshfield Tigers, Wausau West Warriors. Marshfield up here in the bottom of the fourth and up in the game, 12-4. Brianna Jacoby steps in, first pitch swinging to left field and a snow cone catch out there by the left fielder as Jenna Kettner was drifting back. Uh, drifted, the ball drifted a little further than she did. Stuck her mid up though just in time to record out number one for the Warriors. Taylor Barwick now steps in for the third time today for Marshfield. And she is two for two, two singles in the game is Barwick. Ball also pushed to left field, drifting over is Kettner and the ball is out of her mitt. Uh, Contacted the ball in fair territory, and so it's a fair ball. Ball fell to foul territory, but it, she contacted it in fair territory, and Barwick able to get scamper down to second base with a double, one out double, and has the Tigers in business with Donahue now coming to the plate for the fourth time today. She's at a triple and a single. She two for three. And see strike one in the outside corner. Bryce ready and winds, delivers. Ball outside, just a bit outside, further outside than the first pitch was. So we've got one ball and one strike to Donahue.
Lazy fly ball there to the second baseman and out number two of the inning for the Tigers. Ball one to Drager to start her fourth at bat today. Bryce Reddy winds, delivers, and a strike called. One ball, one strike. And the one one. Eye level for ball two. Two outs here for the Tigers. Barwick remains at second base. Drager ready to receive the 2 1 from Bryce. And just below the knees, low for ball three. Seen that call to strike before, but this time it was a ball. Three balls, one strike. Swung on and missed by Drager, and the count is full. Schilling was ready to run off the field on for strike three, but not quite there yet. So Schilling settles back behind home plate. Gives the call to Bryce and the full count pitch. Right, that will be out of play foul. And just right behind us here and drifts slowly away. We've got a, a dog on the case and uh, dog's gonna get herself a softball. Two outs, runner second, payoff pitch. Right back at Bryce, Bryce picks it, throws over to first in time for out number three, so one to three on the third put out. And for the first time today, the Tigers go scoreless in an inning and they leave one on. We go to the top of the fifth, Marshfield 12, West four. Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel. Hey, welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. It's time for the Zaleski Sports Show. Three to see. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Have a great week, everyone. Go sports. All right, we're back here, top of the fifth, and Marshfield remains ahead 12-4. We'll thank one of our sponsors here, Chips Hamburgers of Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Thinking of what to get your team today after work, the game, or the weekend, stop over at Chips. Daily specials available, and if you're in a hurry, same great menu in the drive through Chips Hamburgers, Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. West will send Brown... Bryce and Rennie to the plate. Three guaranteed for the Warriors as we start the top of the fifth. Donahue still in the circle for Marshfield. She's not had her best game pitching. She's had location troubles all day, yet at the same time able to record 10 strikeouts through four innings complete. So if you're keeping score at home, that's 12 outs and 10 of them by strikeout. Ten strikeouts, four earned runs, though, for Donahue, and that's above her season average for sure. So that ball is high, and two balls, no strikes to Brown. And the 2-0, strike down the middle. So with those 10 strikeouts, when pressured, Donahue's been able to deliver. It's just getting to that point. It's been a wild ride for Donahue today. Ball at the knees. Again, seen that called for a strike before, but today, tough for the home plate umpire to keep the strike zone consistent when the, when the pitcher delivering all over the place. And that seems to have been the case today as that ball is gently placed down the third base line and around first and into second. Brown gets the Warriors started with the double. 
diving stab put on by Jacoby there at third. Unable, though, to come up with it as she was standing about 20 feet in front of the third base, and that ball pulled just past her. And the Warriors in business with the runner at second. Nobody out. Nicole Bryce now for her, her third at bat today. She struck out twice so far. That ball high, way over Drager's head, and down to third is Brown. So again, control troubles all game long for Donahue. Now that may have been one of her wildest pitches yet. That ball went about six and a half feet tall. Way over Drager's head behind home plate. That ball now hit to short. Pretch picks, delivers a Conrady, scooped out of the dirt. Nice pick by Conrady there to save Pretch an error. And out number one for the Tigers. And all the while, Brown stays put at third. The ball hit on her side of the infield. No chance to run there. Could have scored if Conrady was not able to come up with that, but Kate able to pull it in for out number one. Kylie Rennie now steps in for the third time today for the Warriors. She drew a walk in the second and then walked again in the fourth. And sees a strike now from Donahue and it's 0-1. Ball bounces in about 10 feet short, so Donahue unable to get that one across the plate. The 1-1. Strike on the inside corner, and it's one ball, two strikes. Again, Rennie walked her first two times up. Now sees a two-strike pitch on its way, and that one's high. Drager able to snag it at just about the six-foot mark. Nice work by Drager there to probably save a run from scoring as Brown might have scored. That one does go to the backstop. And uh, through it, fortunately for Donahue, there's enough steam on her ball. That one came bouncing right back, but that one had no chance for anybody. It cleared almost the seven foot mark on that pitch. Full count now. And a ball, Rennie walks again. She's able to battle back from a one, two count and walks for the third time today. Runners now at the corners, Brown at third, Rennie at first, and Jenna Kettner steps in. Kettner struck out in the second and doubled in the fourth. And we've got a courtesy runner for Rennie. One out for Wausau West, Donahue ready. High for a ball. And the 1-0 is on its way. High for ball two. Be awfully tough to contemplate taking out a 10 strikeout performance here by Donahue. Tough to contemplate kind of taking her out, but she's been erratic and wild throughout the game. So she remains in. Two balls, one strike to Kettner. Donahue set and delivers. Strike two. Again, you don't get to 10 strikeouts without pitching strikes. It's just been a matter of Donahue collecting her energy and enough time to record the strikes. And she's got another one here on the ropes at 2-2. Here it is. Strike three looking again, threw it right down the middle and able to get strikeout number 11 and out number two of the inning. So just when you think she's too wild to go on, she's able to get controlled just enough to get another strikeout here for the Tigers. Hauer now 
steps in for the Warriors. One for two today with a single in the fourth inning. That ball is high. And a run will score on that wild pitch. Again, Donahue tempting fate here with that runner on third for the last couple batters, throwing balls all over the place. And that wild pitch gets her. And a run across for West. 12-5 now. Rennie, or the, pit, the courtesy runner for Rennie, moves over to second. Two outs. And one ball, no strikes to Hauer. Strike just above the knees. And the 1-1. One -one. Swung on and missed by Hauer. And again, those were two strikes. One swinging, one not. And we're back to a two-strike count after the first pitch of the at-bat went sailing about seven feet high. And that one is outside for a ball. Interesting happenings here in this game for Donahue, to say the least. And a 2-2 with two outs, runner at second. Hauer steps out. Resets, gets the, gets the call from third base coach. Back in the box and ready, Donahue with the wind and pitch. Low for ball three, and the count is full. Three, two, two outs. Runner at second, payoff pitch. Ball is hit to short, Pretch under it, and has it for out number three. So Donahue able to work out of that. Run did score on a wild pitch. Warriors score one in the fifth. Leave one on. It's 12-5 Marshfield coming up in the bottom. Enabling families to have peace of mind in times like these. Secure against unexpected property damage or loss is what Marshfield Insurance Agency is all about. We are the area's largest insurance agency, family owned for more than 30 years. An independent agency, we represent more than 40 A-rated insurance providers for home, auto, business, health, life, and more. Contact Marshfield Insurance Agency for a free quote today. Enabling Bottom of the fifth, Tigers will send Jacoby, Corzola, and Nordbeck to get the Tigers started here. It's 12-5 and 10-run uh, rule now in effect, or at least eligible, as we're in the fifth inning. Tigers would need three to end the game. Warriors looking for a quick inning and uh, get back up to bat in the top of the sixth to climb back in it. Thank you to our sponsor, Nasonville Dairy. Nasonville Dairy, located uh, just west of Marshfield on Highway 10. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Visit their store or online at nasonvilledairy.com. Bryce still in the circle for the Warriors. Jacoby, ground ball to second and the first out. Quick out of the inning for the Warriors. Exactly what they're looking for to extend this game. One pitch, one out. And Rhiannon Corzola now steps in. Corzola reached in the first, in the second, and the third. She's three for three today. She was caught in a rundown that ended the second inning for the Tigers, but she's back up now for the fourth time today and sees a ball in her first pitch. Swings at a high one there, and uh, coming in in left field is Kettner for the out, and two pitches, two outs, exactly what the doctor ordered for Wausau West. Sorry, three pitches, two outs. Happened so fast I can't keep count. Morgan Nordbeck now for the Tigers. One for three today. Hits that one into right field, coming on and drop there. So Norbeck's going to reach. Give her a single and that hard hit ball to right. I know many may give that an error, but uh, right fielder there, uh, Stone, coming in on a sharply hit ball and into the sun 
unable to bring it in. And so Nordbeck with a two out hit. She's at first. And we have a uh, pinch batter for Kate Conrarty. It is Maddie. Maddie Mays now in for Conrarty. Mays now lines up a bunt, drops it right in front of her, nicely put down. Schilling with the throw down to Taylor for the out and uh, three outs. So again, Warriors looking for a quick inning and got it. They'll extend it into the sixth. They come to bat down five to 12. We'll see them right after this. Dairy is proud to be part of more than 150 years of dairy farming tradition in the state of Wisconsin. The athletes at Nasonville Dairy are also proud to support all our local student athletes. You work hard in the classroom and then work hard to compete at your best outside of school. Congratulations to the 2018 graduates and best of luck this sports season and beyond. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Visit us at our store or nasonvilledairy.com. Nasonville Dairy. Giddy up. All right, Schilling starts us out here in the top of the sixth. Donahue's still in the circle and pitches one chin level and a swing and a miss by Schilling. Donahue ready and another swing and a miss by Schilling and it's quickly 0-2. Schilling stands in, ready for the 0-2, off-speed pitch, and that's lifted to left field, roaming over and over her head, and Schilling gets the Warriors started with a double. Ran and Corazola there, drifted back, but couldn't quite Back pedal fast enough to track that one down. And, and again, uh, Schilling starts out the west top of the six with a double. Olke now steps in. One for two today. Single in the fourth, struck out in the third. She also walked and started the game back in the first. Now she stares down the one one from Donahue. Whoa, way over her head there, and Donahue again wild here in the sixth. So two balls, one strike now to Olke. Here it is. Swung on and missed, strike two. Off-speed pitch there, Olke way out in front of it. Two balls, two strikes now. In the meantime, Schilling over to third on that wild pitch, and that one in the dirt skipped just before home plate. And Olke able to work the count full. Foul there, stays alive at 3 2. Full count pitch on the way. Off speed and a swing and a miss there and strikeout number 12 for Donahue. Second strikeout of the day for Olke and that brings up Shailene Taylor. 
Taylor 0 for 2 today. She did reach in the third on a walk and then later caught stealing. She was today's starting pitcher, gave up 12 runs in two innings of work. Only one strikeout when she was in the circle. So forgettable day from the circle for Taylor. See if she can make up for it from the box. And that ball is popped back to Donahue for out number two. So short pop up back to Donahue. And that brings up Alicia Fifner. Fifner 0 for 2 today. She did reach on a walk in the third inning. Struck out in the first and the fourth. Two outs, runner at third. And a strike by Donahue. Again, Schilling started the inning with a double. Advanced on a wild pitch and has stayed put now at third. This is the third batter during her time at third base. Pop up here, coming this way towards the Warrior dugout off the top of the roof and bounces over. The foul ball dog has left. That would have been a nice juicy one for the dog, uh, but the dog's gone. And instead we've got uh, beer league softball teams filing in and one of those nice people gathered up the ball and got it back in for us. Here's Donahue, low in the dirt, scooped by Drager. One ball, two strikes. Again, two outs, runner at third. And the one, two. Tip back. Fifner stays alive. And Fifner has struck out twice today already. And if Donahue can get another strikeout on Fifner, it would be her 13th of the game. And the one-two. Out in front of that changeup and off the umpire's midsection goes that ball. Looks no worse for the way, he's still standing. So he'll live to see another pitch. Donahue ready and delivers. Outside and high for a ball. Looking to get Fifner to chase. At least that's a theory I'll go with. Again, control issues today for Donahue. That one may have just got away. 2-2, two, two, two outs. Here it is. Ball is high. Pretch is under it at short and brings it in for out number three. So Wausau threatens early, gets Schilling over to third with nobody out, and then the next three batters are sat down. So one stranded, nobody crossed for the Warriors. We go to the bottom of the six, Marshfield 12, Wausau West 5. H Automotive serves Marshfield and Central Wisconsin with new Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram trucks. Our professional staff of factory trained sales associates and parts and service personnel are here to serve you. Our business managers use more than a dozen lenders to ensure you the lowest rates anywhere. From Marshfield to Wausau, Wisconsin Rapids to Stevens Point, or Colby to Medford, we are a short drive from anywhere for friendly service and very competitive pricing. Come see VH Automotive today. V All right, we're back here at Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Regional finals going on today. Tigers, Warriors. Tigers up 12-5 as they head into the bottom of the six. Thank you to our sponsor today, Marshfield Insurance. I don't know about you, but buying insurance isn't always fun, yet the folks down at Marshfield Insurance make it fun. They're having a good time down there, and you can have a good time by calling or stopping in in person. Again, Marshfield Insurance, they're making it fun. I just made that up. It sounds pretty good, though. Go see my friend uh, Brian Varsha down there. He will, he will hook you up. And again, he makes it fun, painless, easy. Give Marshfield Insurance a call. Pretch now for the Tigers. That ball is popped down the first baseline and caught there by Taylor for out number one. And Tigers only sent four to the plate in the fifth inning. This after batting around in the third. Third baseman, Brianna Jacoby. 
Matter of fact, they bet around in the third, sent four to the plate in the fourth, and only four to the plate in the fifth. And so West may have solved the Tigers for now. It's just a matter of how many runs can the Warriors push across in the top of the seventh should they get there. Again, Marshfield can end the game here in the sixth with just three runs. Ball headed right for us down here at first, and Shailen Taylor again. Very nice play that time. Back-to-back -back outs recorded by the former pitcher, now first baseman for the Warriors. And two pitches, two outs. Brings up Taylor Barwick. And Emma Dorshorst. Emma Dorshorst will, pit, will bat in place of Barwick here in the bottom of the sixth. She digs her way around. Bats from the same side of the plate as Barwick, a little taller than Taylor. Bryce ready. And a strike to Dorshorst. Ball high and inside there, 1-1 one, one the count. And two quick outs here for the Warriors, doing their part on defense. It's just a matter of their bats coming alive here, and they only have one more at bat to do it. And that ball is thrown too far inside. Doris Horse is hit, she'll reach on a hit by pitch. She holds her abdomen coming down the line. Stays on base though, looks like she's okay. She tells first base coach, yep, I'm good. Donahue now steps in, looking to help her cause here on offense. She's tripled and doubled in this game. This is at bat number five for Megan. Sees a strike at the knees. That ball is roped to right center field and gone. Home run for Megan Donahue. That ball got out of here in a hurry. That was on a line out to left center and all the way around comes Donahue. RBI, two RBI home run as Doris Horse took, took one for the team and Donahue gets her around on the home run. Now 14-5 Marshfield, two outs, two out homer there by Donahue. Emily Drager now to the plate. She's reached safely in three of her four plate appearances today. She had a comebacker to the pitcher at her last at bat in the fourth for an out. Otherwise reached safely in her first three plate appearances. So trip number five to the plate for Drager starts out with a ball. And the 1-0. High for a ball. Thought about it for a moment, then let it go. It was above the letters for ball two. High for ball three. So three straight balls from Bryce to Drager. Nicole Bryce slams the ball into her mitt. Teaches it a lesson, now ready. Strike there. Sometimes you just gotta tell the ball who's boss. She did that time. 3-1 now the count, two outs. Drager, ready. Bryce delivers. Foul there, straight behind Schilling and just off the backstop. She never saw it as it uh, popped up over her head. Unable to get her mask off and get turned around, so. Drager stays alive. Three balls, two strikes. That ball roped down the left field line and foul. Foul by about three feet down the left field line. And she would have had extra bases. The ball well, looks like it left the field to play under the fence down there. Well, she's able to sneak it back out. 
Jenna Kettner saves that ball. And they'll use it to pitch. Bryce must have liked it. Two down, full count to Drager. <laughs> man, oh man. And that ball is headed this way and right behind our station here. So Drager stays alive. Okay. And the 3-2 again. Low and skips away from Schilling. Drager, not in any particular hurry to get down to first, and she'll stay there. Jacoby up now. She's three for four today. Scored all three times that she reached. And she steps in now for attempt number five. Again, Tigers looking for their 15th run here. And Drager will move down a second on the pass ball. And that 15th run now sits at second base. West coaches reminding here that you got to charge every ball, and uh, if a ball drops in the outfield, the game's over. So coach saying, lay out for the ball because it's not going to matter anyway if you if you don't get to it. So you may as well charge it and and make a and make an attempt at it. The 1-0, and Jacoby back up the middle, and Drager comes around and she scores, and that will do it. Ten run rule in effect here in the. Bottom of the sixth inning as Jacoby scores Drager, and that run ends the game. Marshfield moves on. They beat Wausau West today 15-5. to We will take a short break. We'll go through today's stats, and we'll catch up with Coach Costa and our player of the game. All that coming up and more after this. Team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous Chips Champ and everything in between, check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year-round. In a hurry, same great menu in the drive-thru. Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids. Wondering what to feed your team after work, the game, or this weekend? Chips Hamburgers in Marshfield and Wisconsin Rapids has tasty char-broiled burgers for any hungry appetite. From the classic hamburger to the famous. And then just leave it there, Trevor. I'll interview from there. Just leave it there. Have a safe ride home. Huh? Well, get a... Okay, that's fine. You just have to tell me where to stand. All right, nicely done there by the Tigers as they regional champions here in Marshfield. And they await, again, the winner of Chippewa Falls and Wisconsin Rapids. Those two will play tomorrow. Uh, and then that game played here on Tuesday. So, again, uh, we will talk with... Marshall Tiger head coach Danny Costa and our Zaleski Sports Show Highlight House player of the game, Jenna Jacoby. We'll talk to them in just a couple minutes. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel. Hey, welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. It's time for the Zaleski Sports Show to see. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Have a great week, everyone. Go sports. Place to have peace of mind in times like these. Secure against unexpected property damage or loss is what Marshfield Insurance Agency is all about. We are the area's largest insurance agency. Family owned for more than 30 years. 
an independent agency, we represent more than 40 A-rated insurance providers for home, auto, business, health, life, and more. Contact Marshfield Insurance Agency for a free quote today. Enabling families to have peace of mind in times like these. Secure against unexpected... He is proud to be part of more than 150 years of dairy farming tradition in the state of Wisconsin. The athletes at Nasonville Dairy are also proud to support all our local student athletes. You work hard in the classroom and then work hard to compete at your best outside of school. Congratulations to the 2018 graduates and best of luck this sports season and beyond. Nasonville Dairy, fresh cheese curds made daily. Visit us at our store or nasonvilledairy.com. Nasonville Dairy is proud to be part of more than 150 years. Chips Champ and everything in between. Check out our daily specials. Stop inside to enjoy your meal with comfortable seating. See our complete menu of burgers, hot ham and cheese, hot beef, chicken and fish, fries, rings, curds and ice cream served year round. In a hurry, same great menu in the drive thru All right, we await uh, today's Zaleski Sports Show Highlight House Player of the Game, Jenna Jacoby. She'll be over here uh, in just a moment as uh, we've got some other uh, congratulatory things to, uh, to get done with. And uh, we'll uh, talk to the players here in just a minute. We'll also see if we can get our... our by the way, Jenna, <laughs> come on over. We've got to see if we can get Mr. Deer. Stay right here for me. Let's see if we can get... Oh. We'll see where everybody's going to be here. Questions. We got like eight people in the way of the camera, so we just got to wait a little bit. You want to tell me the questions now? I don't know. What do you want? What do you want me to ask you? Oh, don't ask me that. <laughs> 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 you know, Delaney, he's got to get all his... Uh, Trevor says we're good. Okay, we're here with our Zaleski Sports Show Highlight House Player of the Game, Jenna Jacoby. Jenna today, uh, four for five, including what turned out to be the, the game clincher. Just talk about moving on in the playoffs, what that's all about. Well, um, we've had this team for a while. We've been playing together for a long time, and we think this is the year that we're going to make the run to state. So we just want to make the most of it and come to every game fully prepared to win. Okay, and then speaking of that, next game is Tuesday. So what do you do between now and Tuesday to get ready? we got a long weekend, graduation ceremonies, parties. How do you keep your head in the game during the weekend? Well, um, you kind of got to relax and just we got to rest too so that we come 100% ready and just got to, in the back of your mind, say we got to get that win on Tuesday. So it's got to be in there somewhere. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, now I know you've done this before for basketball, so camera sitting right up top there, just looking that direction. Give us a good I'm in the house, okay? Oh, hold on, hold on. You want me to hold it? Yeah? I'll hold the microphone. I just want to get out of your way. Yeah. Okay, I'll count you down. Three, two, one, okay? Three, two, one. I'm in the house! Nice. Uh, nice job. Nice you. game. Okay. All right, that was our Zaleski Sports Show Highlight House Player of the Game, Jenna Jacoby. We've got Coach Costa momentarily. He's activities right now, so we'll talk to Coach Costa and uh, get his thoughts on today's game. Again, uh, Tigers 15 over the Warriors. Uh, West came in playing just yesterday. They had less than 24 hours in between games. So, yeah, come on over, Coach. Uh, so maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, a little bit worn out maybe the Warriors were. But we'll talk to Coach here just about today's game. Uh, Coach, regional finals champs, uh, as you go down, maybe your, your checklist of items, uh, where does this one go on the checklist? Oh, right up there with the, with the other two we had. Um, you know, the first one that I got, probably the sweetest, seven seed going into number two Chippewa. Uh, and that was a that was a crazy game. Um, 
But anytime, I mean, I'm happy for the girls. I just any anytime you can get it for the girls, it's a, it's a bonus. And you know, Megan was a little uncharacteristic uh, in pitching today. She's a little wild, uh, but I guess you know, wildly effective is what I'd I'd, I'd say. <laughs> you didn't know what quite what you were gonna get, and maybe she she threw some batters off. And I, I take a little bit of ownership on that. I did. We did set a game plan for the first two or three innings um, that we wanted to go with, kind of more harder stuff, and then show them the off-speed stuff uh, later in the game to kind of keep them off balance. And so maybe I threw her off a little bit. Sure, Donahue uh, still with 12 strikeouts, and the offense backed her up with 15 runs. So that's just that's a combination that'll get you to win any time, right? Uh, well, um, you know, against the good teams, we have to sh uh, shore up our our defense a little bit. Um, but yes, if you were to tell me that we would have had 12 strikeouts and 15 runs today. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to tell you, we'd win. Although we had 15 hits against Bash and scored seven runs, and Megan had 11 strikeouts, and I we lost. So um, I never take anything for granted. We got to make sure that in the next couple of days that we we take care of our defensive situation. Long weekend here, holiday weekend, graduation uh, coming up on Saturday. A lot of grad parties. Uh, what are the instructions to the girls during the weekend? We're grinding. We're going every day. Yeah. Good luck, coach. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys, that'll do it here from Marshfield Fairgrounds Park. Marshfield uh, moves on. Regional finals champs 15-5 to over the Wausau West Warriors. Uh, we will find out who they're playing in uh, just a little bit, uh, so make sure to stay tuned to ZaleskiSportsShow.com. Uh, they will play the winner of Chippewa Falls and Wisconsin Rapids. That game will be here Tuesday at 5 p.m. So enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you then. I just finished my junior year in college. It's time for me to buy my first car before I start my senior year and before I start my career search. I clicked on an ad for Wheelers and found a car that was in my budget. I contacted the dealership and they emailed me an appointment for test drive. Test drive day is here. The sales staff was helpful and made sure I was comfortable learning about the car. It only took a few minutes and my credit application was approved. Just a couple of quick signatures and a payment I can afford. My first time buying a car and it was so simple. Thank you Wheelers. My name is Marissa. Welcome to the Zaleski Sports Show. I'm your host, Rachel. Hey, welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski. It's time for the Zaleski Sports Show 3 to see. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. He's in the house. He's in the house. Have a great week, everyone. Go sports.